Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I did want to provide you all with an update on our current fuel cost. The last update that I provided was on May the 24th. At that time, we were paying $3.58 for unleaded and $4.36 per gallon for diesel. Uh, we are currently paying $4.26 for unleaded and $5.19 for diesel. Um, so that cost continues to climb for us. Uh, Ms. Black and I met about this this afternoon um, prior to our budget recommendation to make sure that there was not something that we need to change. Um, we feel like that the, the fleet balance that we have and what we've currently budgeted for the upcoming year, if things will level off sooner rather than later, then we should be fine moving into the new year. Um, but we do not want to overlook any efficiencies that we can make uh, with our departments from a staff standpoint. So our department head meeting next week, the staff and I will be discussing how we can share some rides across the county um, if we need to make some hours adjustments, things like that. We are not recommending any cutting in services, just making sure that we are being as frugal as we can with our fuel usage. Um, we hosted Leadership Lounge today for Public Safety Day, so Ms. Barwick has been um, with them uh, since early this morning. Our offices will be closed on Monday in observance of Juneteenth, and the Southside Library is hosting Juneteenth events at the Lowndes County Civic Center. Um, last, we are keeping an eye on the heat with regards to our employees and our citizens. Um, Ashley is talking with some of our community partners about extending cooling shelters. Um, we are possibly looking at some uh, temperatures um, well in excess of 100 degrees next week, which is going to push the heat index somewhere probably between 110 and 112 degrees. Um, our citizens do not, do not have air conditioning or have health situations are not going to be in good shape there. So we're working on that. Um, also, I partnered um, today, as a matter of fact, with Pepsi, and they, through the summer months, are going to put a cooler in the lobby of our building and provide free bottled water to citizens. As you're aware, we get a lot of foot traffic. People have to come to the courthouse that may not have air conditioning in their cars, and we certainly don't want Captain Rayburg and his staff to, to call any more squads than they may need. And, and Ms. Vanek will tell you that um, those squads sometimes can be few and far between, so if we can help with hydration there, we will be working on that. Um, and the last thing that, that I have is just um, on behalf of the staff, and I thank you for your, your leadership. I know that the decisions that you have to make are not always easy, but we are always proud of your process and can stand here to support you moving forward. So thank you for what you did. Thank you. Any questions for Ms. Boots?